This is part four of a tutorial on how to complete your USB power supply case. So I left off with the case being assembled and the only way to actually attach the bottom and the top piece together is to glue it, which isn't acceptable. So what we're going to do is we're going to modify the top piece and the bottom piece to actually have screws in them. So I'm going to take the enclosure, okay, and if I click on it once and right mouse click, okay, I can go to open, or at the same time I can just click over here the different parts, and I'm going to click on enclosure, right mouse click, go open. And what will happen is I will open up into the part that I want to modify. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to extrude on the surface of this plane here. Okay, and I click on it once more so you can see where I'm going. Right, let me sorry, let me click right there. Okay, that's my surface. I'm going to click on. I'm going to add some circles. So I'm going to click on extrude. Okay, and I'll do a 2D reference so we can work on it a bit closer. And I'm going to zoom in a bit. So hold the shift key down, center, hold the the scroll key down, and I can move it a bit. Now. I'm going to create a circle in this corner and then I'm going to mirror it just like before. So I'm going to hold the Alt key down right now. So I've selected center circle. Hold the Alt key down. I'm going to select, uh, let's select that corner radius and I'll put a radius in there. Now I can use the circle tool and actually join a radius to there. Okay. And once I'm done that, I'm going to click select and you can see that my circle is in there. Okay. And what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to put some dimensions in here so I can actually move it a bit more up into the corner. So I'm going to take normal and click from the center here to the outside and I'm going to left or center click and I'm going to get this definition. I'm going to get this error coming up and it says this constraint coinc coincide means that the circle is coinciding with this arc in here and I'm going to get rid of that one. So I'm going to take that and go delete and then I'm going to leave it at quarter inch and then I'm also going to take the dimension, the center, and go to the outside and left mouse or center mouse click to get a dimension. And now if I want to I can move this. So I'm actually going to take this instead of a quarter inch away, I'm going to put it to a point two away. Now this is important to remember because when I move this, I have to remember it for my bottom piece too. So point two is the center of the circle. So now that I have my circle there, I'm going to mirror it to the other places. So I'll simply click on uh, the center lines first. So I'll put my center line for the top, so there it is, and I'll drag it that way. And I put a center line down here, so there it is, and I'll click across like this. Oops, I can't move my mouse the right way. There we go. And now I'm going to select the tool, highlight it, go mirror, and go across the center line that way. And then I'm going to highlight both of them. And I'm going to click on mirror and go across the center line here. And now when I kind of hold the shift key down, the center mouse button, you can see them down there as well. So that's the first part. Okay, they're there. So I'm going to click on OK. And they protrude outward, so I'm going to reverse the direction. And I'm going to have them go to the surface below. So right now, I'm just kind of guessing through. And what I can do is if I drag it, you'll see they come out the bottom. But instead, I'm just going to say here to actually go to the next surface. Okay, so extrude to intersect all surfaces. And I'll actually stop on the surface below. Right, so there's my four corner pieces. I'm going to click OK, and that there is the first part done. Next is I need to put the holes for the actual screws to go into. So again, click on the top surface, extrude. This time around, I'm going to flatten it out again, and I'm going to zoom it in so I can see what I'm doing a bit closer. And same process, I'm going to extrude it. So I'm going to go center circle. And this time around now, I need to find some surfaces. So I'm going to Alt key down. And I'm going to go to here. There's the center of my circle. And I will put my circle in now. Click Select. And I know this one I'm going to have is 0.11 of an inch. So that's to fit a number four screw to thread into. So we put it there. And now, as usual, I will create my center lines. So I'll click my center line over here click my center line over here and repeating the process click the select tool, highlight it then go mirror across that and then highlight both of them and go mirror across the bottom and I should now have my four circles. I'm going to click OK once again I have them protruding this time I know I'm only using half inch screws so I'm going to change the depth to 0.5 and I'm going to reverse the direction and remove the material. So now I actually have holes in there and you can see the hole in there. So that concludes this part of the tutorial. I'm just going to accept it 
and you can see now the holes and I'll save it and go on to the next step which is adding the holes to the base. Thank you very much. Actually I'll save it first. Now of course I shouldn't have so I'm going to stop right now.